What's going on, saviors? GH here. As the thumbnail and the title suggests, we're gonna be talking about city reputations in Genshin Impact. I'm gonna be showing to you guys the different ways to get city reputations in the game. And maybe check out the rewards, the goodies that we can get. And with that said, let's do this! Okay, City Reputation. What is it? It's basically a new system EXP in the game that we can get by doing different tasks. And by doing those tasks, we get City Reputation, which in turn increases our reputation level. And by raising our reputation, we get rewards and goodies. Let's check out the different tasks that we can do to level up our reputation. The first here is Weekly Progress. This is more like a bounty hunting category wherein we can hunt bounties a maximum of 3 times a week. And if you wanna learn more on bounties in Genshin Impact, there's a link in the description. It's a bounty hunting guide. The other task that we can do is Weekly Accepted Quest. This is the most easiest. You just need to take the quest and give the quest NPC an item. That's it. We can do this a maximum of 3 times weekly. Next here is the world exploration. So what is this world exploration? This is the opening of chests, unlocking waypoints, and finding elemental oculi, offering them to the Archon statues, looking for hidden treasures, and solving mystery quests. Final task that we can do is the Mondstadt and Liyue quest. Now this is pretty easy to do because they straight out give you the name of the quest that you haven't done. As you can see here, I missed one quest in Mondstadt and it's called Equivalent Exchange. So I just need to finish it and I get reputation points and rewards. Let's go check out the rewards. And as you can see, at level 1, we get an Apple Stew recipe, okay? And at level 2, they're giving a crafting blueprint for a Animunculus Resonance Stone. It's an item that helps you find Animunculus. And if you want more on that subject, there's a link in the description all about Animunculus and Geoculus Resonance Stones. Check it out. It's gonna help you understand what a Animunculus and Geoculus Resonance Stone is. At level 3, they're giving us a Dreamcatcher Recipe. It's an item that allows us to capture a Animograna that we can use to generate wind currents. And at level 4, they're giving a name card, a food recipe, and discounts on Mondstadt markets. At level 5, it's an NRE, a nutrition ready to eat item. It's basically an item that makes eating food much more easier. At level 6, this is my favorite, they're giving us the ability to create a portable waypoint that's gonna be very useful. And according to this, an Animo Treasure Compass. It's gonna help us find more treasure chests. I really need this item because it's getting difficult looking for a treasure chest. At level 7, it's a name card and a food recipe. Not really enticing but oh well. <laughs> then at level 8, it's a new glider. All that trouble just for a new skin. And that's it guys, City Reputation Guide. I hope that helps and if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.